The Google G Suite is a set of cloud-based apps that can be used to create documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and more. Earning your G Suite certification demonstrates your ability to use digital skills to work collaboratively and productively in a professional environment. Completing this lesson on Google Hangouts will help prepare you for your G Suite certification exam. Hangouts is an online meeting tool for voice and video conversations. Use this app to keep in touch with friends, family, or coworkers who are far away from you. If you need to talk with people in different locations at the same time, Hangouts allows you to meet with them virtually. You have two ways to join a Hangout, by calling in over the phone or connecting through the internet in a video chat. Hangouts uses the camera and microphone on your computer or mobile device to connect you to a virtual conversation. In this lesson, you will schedule a Hangout, present your screen, manage sound, video, and bandwidth, manage a live Hangout, and change Hangout settings. To work on this lesson, sign into your Google account, open a new tab in your browser, and navigate to google.com. If you are not signed in, do so now. If you do not have a Google account, pause the video and create one now. Move on to the next video to start using Hangouts. Now it's your turn. Sign into your Google account. In this video, you will open a new Hangout and invite a guest. To begin, open Google Hangouts. When you open Hangouts for the first time, allow the use of your camera and microphone for video and audio in the application. You can connect with others through a video call, phone call, or written messages. To start a new conversation, search for someone by their name or email address, or type in their phone number. Select the person you want to communicate with. Type in a message and send it. A chat window will open for your recipient and you can exchange written messages. This chat window is similar to the chat feature in Gmail. Now it's your turn. Open Google Hangouts, search by name, email, or phone number, and start a new written conversation. In this video, you will schedule a Hangout using Google Calendar. To start, open a new tab in your browser and navigate to the Google homepage. Open Google Calendar. Choose a date for your meeting. Type in a title for your meeting. Select the time that will work best for you and the person you want to connect with. Click More Options to add a Hangout to the event. In the new window, add conferencing to create a Hangouts link. Add guests using their email addresses. Save the event and send the invitation.
People you invite will receive an email, and the event will appear on their calendar. They can choose to accept, decline, or reply maybe to the invitation. The meeting also appears on your calendar, and you can see the reply of the person you invited. In the next video, you will launch a new Hangouts conversation. Now it's your turn. Open Google Calendar, select the date, add event details, add a guest, and save event. In this video, you will launch a Hangout and communicate by video. Online communication through video gives you a way to talk face-to-face -face with family, friends, or coworkers. When it is time for your scheduled meeting, open the event in your calendar and join the Hangout. Once you are in a Hangout, you have access to the audio and video options. Practice turning the microphone on and off. Then turn your camera on and off. If your camera is off, your profile image or a placeholder will appear. In a large group meeting, turn off your camera when you are not talking to place the focus on the main speaker. In meetings with lots of attendees, mute your microphone when you are not speaking to cut down on background noise, such as coughing or typing. To invite new people to join your Hangout, forward the link to anyone else you want to include in the conversation. People may join your Hangout at any time. Try the chat tool in Hangouts as well. Chats allow you to share additional information, such as online links, and to ask questions without interrupting the person speaking. When you are done with the video conversation, Exit the meeting. In the next video, you will use Hangouts to share your screen. Now it's your turn. Launch Hangouts Meet, join Hangout from event window, and add guests by email. Do you want to discuss a document or share a presentation with the group during a video meeting? In this video, you will share your computer screen in a Hangout. Instead of transferring a file and waiting for other meeting attendees to open it, save time by sharing your screen. You can share documents, presentations, spreadsheets, and any other application. To begin, open a video call. You do not have to connect with anyone for this lesson. Select Share Screen. Then, select which part of your screen you want to share. If you choose to present your entire screen, anything you do on your computer screen will be visible to people in the call. If you choose to present a window, they will only see the browser window you select. Share an application window with your guest. While you share your screen, other attendees will not see you, but they will be able to hear your voice. To return to the video camera, stop sharing your screen. In the next video, you will manage the sound and video quality of Hangouts. Now it's your turn. Share your screen with others in a Hangouts meeting and decide if you want to share your entire screen or a specific window. In this video, you will manage sound and video quality options in Hangouts. To view your audio and camera devices in an open Hangout session, go to Settings. In the settings, you see a preview of your video feed along with the type of camera you are using. 
If you have more than one webcam connected to your computer, select which one you want to use for the Hangout. You can also select which microphone to use with Hangouts. For example, you might have an external microphone plugged into your computer with better sound quality than your computer's built-in microphone. In the settings window, check your sound to make sure it's working. Test your speakers. If you do not hear a dial tone, select different speakers or headphones. In settings, reduce the bandwidth of your video and audio. Bandwidth is the amount of data transferred online. Reducing your bandwidth can keep your video from lagging if you have a slower internet connection. If you're experiencing a poor network connection, such as video or audio delays or freezing, changing the resolution to standard definition might help. High definition uses more data, but sends and receives a better quality picture. Standard definition uses less data, but sends or receives a lower quality picture. If your video connection is not working, choose audio only to turn off your camera entirely. In the next video, you will explore ways to manage meetings with Hangouts. Now it's your turn. Open Settings, view the General tab options, and view the Bandwidth tab options. This video will demonstrate some of the features available in the G Suite version of Hangouts. If you have a G Suite account, practice along with the video. If you do not have a G Suite account, keep watching to become familiar with the features for the G Suite certification exam. When you use the corporate G Suite version of Hangouts, you have access to several added features. To add someone to a meeting that is already in progress, find joining information in the calendar invite. Copy the joining information and send the person an email. To quickly invite someone to the meeting, use the Add People option. Invite additional guests by entering their email address, or add a guest using their phone number. To join a Hangout from a phone, use the phone number and code provided in the joining information. After calling the phone number, wait for the prompt and then enter the access code PIN. You will enter the meeting as an audio-only participant. If someone tries to join who was not invited to the calendar event, a meeting participant from your organization must accept their request. Lastly, members of the host organization have the option to remove guests from a meeting. If you're the organizer of a video meeting, you can mute other people's microphones to quiet feedback or background noise. For privacy reasons, unmuting someone is not possible. Ask participants to unmute their own audio when they are ready to speak. Mute dial-in guests as well. Phone participants press star 6 on their keypads to unmute and mute again. Now it's your turn. If you have a corporate account, practice copying and sharing joining information, inviting guests, removing guests, and muting guests. In this lesson, you worked in Google Hangouts. The skills you learn and practice will help prepare you for your G Suite certification exam. 
Continue to explore Hangouts and practice on your own. You can apply much of what you have learned in this lesson to other online communication tools. Hangouts help you start virtual conversations with friends and family, as well as collaborate with coworkers remotely. Be sure to review the following topics and tasks that may appear on the exam. Scheduling a Hangout. Launching a Hangout. Presenting your screen in a Hangout. Managing sound and video, including muting microphones, turning a camera off, and reducing bandwidth. Managing meetings with Hangouts, including dialing in, inviting users, chat, Muting other users. And ejecting users. Remember, the best way to learn a new skill is through hands-on experience. So look for new opportunities to communicate with friends, family, and coworkers on Hangouts.